Hi, it's Jess here from Meadows Flowers again. So as you can see, I've finished deadheading the zinnias. I mean, look at this. They come in the most gorgeous array of colours and form. We've got a gorgeous, slightly cream one here. We've got a lovely orange. That one will do nicely for something I've got coming up. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Nice pink one. Oh, how to focus. Lots and lots of different sizes, styles and colours. But what I now need to get on with, the next job that needs to, I need to do, is I need to look at the chrysanthemums. So chrysanthemums are typically an autumn flowering plant. Again, they come in a really wide variety of colours, shapes, styles. So I've got some spray chrysanthemums here. These are typically what you'd find in your supermarket bouquet, in your florist bouquet. These are just looking really, really nice. They're almost ready for picking. Got a plan for those potentially. But what I now need to do, I need to get the rest of the croissants prepped ready for a big wedding I'm doing in three week three three weeks' time. So the colour theme is autumnal, so we're looking at our golds, our creams, our reds, or maybe a little bit of yellow, which is what I was looking at that zinnia for. So I've got nice chrysanthemum here. This is Aloise salmon. Nice autumnal not quite as dark as some of them but what i now need to do is have a look at the buds that are coming through because if we're going to get stem length for the bride's bouquet a bit like i did with the dahlias we're going to have to be a little bit mean to her so again we can see here this is my leader i want to keep this bud and by the time we come to the wedding in three weeks time she'll be out and she'll be flowered perfectly so again i want to take this bud here thumb and first finger and just pinch it off Literally, don't use secateurs, better just with your thumb and finger. So into the bucket with her. And again, follow this down. Got another bud here. I don't want that one. Off with that one. And we just work our way down the entire stem length because for a bouquet, I'm going to want this from here as far down as I can get it. Hopefully, that will give us some nice... I'm thinking of these for the bride's posies. They'll be really, really nice. And again, we've got another nice one here. That's probably got a couple of weeks till it's ready. Again, work our way down the stem. Make sure there's no side buds. There's one there. Just get rid of you. Done. And so again, we're going to have this nice, proper, good stem length ready for our bride's bouquet. So we've got Aloise salmon here. And then if we have a look, we've got this one here that I just need to deadhead. So we'll have a look at a little friend. This is Beacon. I mean, look at that. Imagine that as a bride in autumn in your bouquet gorgeous we've got the gold on the outside we've got the red on the inside leave leave it to me i'm going to go and have a little bit of prep at this one as well